Who are you and what do you do? I'm Helena um, and I am a conservation project officer for the Saving Wildcats project. And the Saving Wildcats project is a European partnership project that aims to breed and release wildcats into the Cairngorms in 2023 in order to restore the population of Scotland's wildcats. How many Scottish wildcats do you have at the Highland Wildlife Park? So there are two groups of wildcats at the Highland Wildlife Park. Um, there are the wildcats that are on show to the public and there are the wildcats that are part of our Conservation Breeding for Release Centre. And so the ones that you can see, so if you're a visitor and you come to the zoo, you can go through the wildcats. Um, currently, we actually only have two on display, but we're getting more soon. And that's because recently three went to another zoo, but we've got lots of space and we'll be welcoming more soon. Um, the ones that are part of our Conservation Breeding for Release Centre, um, we currently have 16 adults and they form eight pairs, so eight couples. A couple of weeks ago, we announced the arrival of eight kittens, so that in total is 24 wildcats in the Conservation Breeding for Release Centre. What habitat does the Scottish wildcat like best? Scottish wildcats are the same as European wildcats, which means it's the same species as in Scotland as it is in the rest of Europe. Traditionally, people in Scotland often thought that the wildcats liked all the pine forests, but the reality is that they can live in a variety of habitats. So um, wildcats exist in southern Spain, so in more arid temperatures, but they can also exist um, here in Scotland where it's so. They prefer broadleaf forests, um, and they like habitat edges. So uh, they also like habitats with lots of prey in them. Um, and this is why they love habitat edges because they can sort of go onto banks of streams and find lots of stuff to eat. Um, they also like areas um, where you have a bit of open land where there can be some prey and then they can retreat into more forested areas um, to have their dens and trade My last question is, what can we do to save the um, endangered Scottish wildcats? I mean, there are so many things that you can do. Um, and talking to your family and friends about wildcats is a huge thing that everyone can do. A lot of people in Scotland um, actually aren't aware that wildcats are doing so badly. Um, so it's really important to talk to your family and friends about the plight of the wildcat and to explain to them that it's facing loads and loads of issues. Um, and then talk to them about how really the only solution for wildcats is to breed and release them back into the wild. And um, so that's something our project is doing and it's great that you can talk about that. And um, people can also do fundraising activities for us. Um, people in our local area um, can also go see um, the wildcats at the Highland Wildlife Park and learn more about them. And there are other zoos in Scotland as well where you can learn more about them as well. By going to these zoos, you're also helping the breeding programme of wildcats. And um, so any help with that is fantastic. And if you, you know, go see a wildcat at a zoo, the ticket that you bought to get into the zoo, the money will go towards wildcats, and then we can breed more wildcats and release more kittens into the wild. Um, and also a key one, and I'm, one I'm sure you're already doing, is being responsible pet owners. So making sure that your cat is neutered, uh, vaccinated, um, and it's got its microchip, so it's completely healthy and it's going to be by a vet. Thank you.